morning and happy Sabbath, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson on the Beatitudes today. Now, Jesus spoke about deep things of God, not just the physical world, but primarily the spiritual world, the spiritual life of our hearts and minds. And so a lot of the things that he said in those blessings, in the Beatitudes, we would hardly consider a blessing at all. And so I really hope that you got a chance to speak about it with your family. And if not, during the craft today, I want to highly encourage you to go ahead and speak about each one of those blessings that Jesus mentioned in a little bit more depth so that we can understand what is truly important according to Jesus in our life and world here today. Now, our memory verse brings it all together. And it is found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. And it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for looking after us and keeping us safe this week again. As we learn more about you, please help us to share what we've learned with others. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now we're going to have a song, a craft, and another song. Enjoy. Hi, children. I hope you enjoyed this song. It's called I've Got the Joy, 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 Joy Down in My Heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy. So very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the peace of passes understanding down in my heart Down in my heart, down in my heart I've got the peace of passes understanding down in my heart Down in my heart to stay and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the joy, 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 joy Down in my heart, down in my heart down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. 
for today's craft, we're going to make this Beatitudes flower. So let's get started. You will need a few sheets of paper. Really, you only need three sheets of paper, but we're going to be making a flower. So I decided to use these colors, but you can choose any colors you want. Uh, but at the very least, you need three sheets of paper. Also, you'll need at least one uh, darker color with which you can write on these papers and can see what you're writing. Again, I chose a couple different ones here. Uh, we'll see which ones I want to use. You're going to need paper glue, a pencil, scissors, and either some sort of tool to draw a circle. Uh, I'm going to use a plate. Uh, or it could be just a paper plate, really. So in that case, you'd only need two sheets of paper of the colors of the petals and a paper plate. So let's get started. So grab your uh, color sheet of paper for the petals. Uh, I'm gonna start with this one. And again, you'll need at least two uh, sheets of whatever colors you like. Uh, and what you want to do is cut it in, in half and into a quarter. So we're gonna use for one petal, one quarter of a sheet, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. So I'll just cut it in half because I'm gonna be using uh, a few different colors. I don't necessarily wanna cut up the whole page into smaller pieces because I'll only use one half of this. So I'm just gonna save the other half and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. Uh, fold and cut this one, cut it in half. And I'm gonna have two petals of this color. I decided I'm gonna make it a little bit more colorful. And in total, uh, by this craft, you're gonna need to eight these quarter sheets of uh, construction paper. Uh, so I'm gonna have four different shades of pink, uh, to each. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and you do that for your flower as well. You can just use one color or eight different colors, whatever you prefer. But I'm going to go ahead and do mine and then come back. So here are my <clears throat> four quarter sheets of paper that I'm going to use for for um, petals and the way that you want to do the petals is take each one of those um, rectangular sheets and fold it not very strongly just a little bit uh, uh, so minimally that you need for it to sit nicely together lengthwise okay not this way but this way okay so the lengthwise so you get a bit of a narrow edge so I'm just not gonna press it too hard it doesn't really matter that much but I'm gonna keep it a little bit light on it. And what you wanna do, uh, you wanna draw from the bottom here, we're gonna make a leaf, okay? So straight from the bottom here, so that it's gonna be the bottom of the petal, and then you wanna round it at the top. So you wanna kinda round and maximize the paper that you're using at the top. So it's sort of like a heart shape, but, uh, you know, not dent in here. So literally round it from the top, do a little circle and just bring it in here. And then when you've done that, go ahead and grab your scissors and cut the petal out. There we go. And when you unfold it, you should have a nice little tear shape, drop shape, petal okay and so I'm just gonna delete or, or erase you don't have to you can use a different side the remaining um, kind of pencil where I, I attempted to draw my first petal and now what you want to do you want to go ahead and fold the other pieces of paper I'm going to just use another color to make it easier to see so do <clears throat> the same with the next piece of paper just kind of make a fold in there and then use the first one that you did as a uh, pattern by which to trace. So put this on exactly on the edge, the folded edge, make sure it's the folded edge, edge, and draw a line and go ahead and cut it out. So 
and then do it for all the other petals as well. So that way you get them all in the same shape. So I'm gonna fast forward on that one as well and let you get on with yours. So here I got my petals. I trust you got something similar. And I'm just gonna go ahead and unfold them. Uh, it's okay that they lean forward a little bit. I think it looks pretty that way. Um, but yes, here are my eight petals. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna write on each one of those petals one of the Beatitudes. And what I would like for you to do really in your homes, when you write one of the Beatitudes, um, discuss with your family, discuss with your brother, sisters, mom, dad, ask each other, what do they really mean? Because there's a very deep, deep, deep meaning in them that Jesus wanted us to get. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, look at the first one, which is found in Matthew chapter five, verse three. And I'm gonna grab my color markers. I, I'm still deciding, I think I'm gonna use mainly this color and maybe that one later on for the center. But the first one is, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So I'm gonna write here, poor in spirit. And while you're writing it out, and as you're gonna be putting it together, I want you to think about and discuss what does that even mean. Feel free to decorate these uh, petals a little bit more, like I'm gonna put these kind of lines here. But really, the, uh, when Jesus was sharing his Beatitudes, he was talking about when we're blessed, what, what will really make us happy, what will fulfill us. And he was talking about things that are unusual because we don't think about poverty uh, as a blessing. And of course, we have to remember that Jesus spoke all the time uh, in, in the Beatitudes. He spoke really about deeper things, spiritual things, not just uh, temporary things, right? So what he was referring to was the spiritual poverty or those of us who hunger uh, and thirst after righteousness as he speaks in uh, the next uh, line there or a couple lines down so really he's talking about those who recognize their need of god and spiritual things remember uh when jesus said seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness all these other things will be added unto you so all of us really need god all of us are uh, poor in spirit but we don't recognize it a lot of the times. So we think we can take care of ourselves. We think what we can do is enough. But Jesus is bringing it to our attention that um, if we do not recognize our spiritual hunger uh, or spiritual rather need, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be really um, not able to get what we need for eternal salvation and for the you know improvement of our character towards that of Jesus. So he's referring to, in part here, to those who recognize their spiritual need, not just their temporal needs. And so as you go <clears throat> through the remaining of the Beatitudes uh, and writing them down on the petals, I want you to talk about with each other, what does that really mean? Uh, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to your mom and dad? And uh, really try to understand what was Jesus trying to say because Jesus really worked uh, very hard uh, his life, during his life here on earth to get us to understand uh, what he's all about. So uh, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange my colors the way I want them to be. Although it doesn't truly matter in the end as much, but uh, I wanted to follow nice colors and I wanted to follow the verses of the Bible as well so that uh, I can uh, kind of have them in sequence, but you don't have to do that. So the second was um, in verse four, it says, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. So I'm gonna put uh, here, those that mourn. And then the third one is gonna be the meek, then it's gonna be uh, those who thirst and hunger for righteousness. 
then the merciful, pure in heart, peacemakers, and then persecuted for righteousness sake. And that one is a tough one. And I want you to still have that conversation with your mom and dad as you're writing those different Beatitudes out. And again, you can find them in Matthew chapter five, verses three through 10. I'm gonna fast forward on mine and I'm gonna get all my pedals ready. Here are my petals. And now we're gonna do the center of the flower. Now you can choose any color you want. You can just choose a paper plate and put it around it. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use blue paper. That's just what I like. You can use yellow, green, white, anything you like. And I'm gonna put my flower together. Now there's gonna be a center. There's gonna be a little bit of sizable center. So uh, I am thinking uh, I'm gonna put it around this way and I'm gonna look at about what size I want. Now, if you just have a paper plate, you put these petals around it, regardless, whatever the size is, you adjust it. But because I can make a choice here, I'm gonna do it a little bit uh, like of my own choice. So in fact, although I have a plate, I am gonna do a little bit smaller <laughs> than the plate. So I'm gonna maybe grab a bowl and make, I want the center to be probably about maybe this big, because I decided I want to overlap my um, petals and just have a little bit of a beautiful center there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bowl, uh, a smaller one, where I can uh, draw a center that is the right size. So here's the bowl I'm gonna use. And uh, again, I just wanna keep them in line just to have them all in the right sequence, which you absolutely don't have to do. And I'm gonna put this bowl on top of this and uh, draw a circle, cut it out, and then start arranging petals around it. So I'll let you go ahead and get on with that. The only thing I will say, you know, again, when you do your petals, just simply put some glue on the tip and just put it on top. Or you can put it on the bottom, whichever way you prefer. So I'm gonna get on with mine. I hope you, uh, you'll you be fine with yours. And then let's look at the final result. So here it is, and I put in the center, blessed are, and then those that are pure in heart, peacemakers, persecuted for righteousness, sake, poor in spirit, they that mourn, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, the merciful and the meek. I really hope you enjoyed this craft, and I hope you had a good conversation around this, because what Jesus calls a blessing sometimes is different to what we think we need and we want. So um, I hope you had a really good talk that made you understand God a little bit deeper, a little bit more. Good morning, children. This is Auntie Ingrid, and I'm so happy to see you today. Right, so we are going to sing, I have decided to follow Jesus. All right, are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. No longer with me, still I will follow. No longer with me, still I will follow. No longer with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. My cross I carry. 
Will I see Jesus? My cross of Cali. Will I see Jesus? My cross of Cali. Will I see Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. 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 Bravo! See you soon!